let's play Child of Eden. Now this is one of the games that is better with the Kinect sensor and I completely agree with it. So we're up on our screen. Xbox. Play disc. And I also like to mention that there are moves that have to involve you going like this. So you don't want anything hanging, anything obstructing your high range. So here we are on the load screen. Now, as you can see, if you hit the right stick, if you are using the controller, you can switch back and forth. But since we're not, and this is a Kinect demo, we are gonna go straight in. Now I've been playing a little bit before just to warm up and you know get some levels unlocked so I can show you some cool stuff. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna confirm your profile, say yes, and you move on to I guess the secondary home screen, which is called Lumi's Garden. And here we are in Lumi's Garden, and you can see all the various worlds that we have discovered and tried to purify because in essence this game is about taking the bad and making it good. So we're gonna go with our first level here. is Matrix. So we dive on in. And when the first time you do play, they will walk you through tutorial, so it will stop and go. But since we've already beaten this level, it's just gonna go straight through. So I'm gonna talk through some certain things you need to know. Now, your left hand is going to be your tracer gun, which is a little bit of a kind of a free-going, non-stop, weaker version of, of the gun. Now, your right hand, as you can see here, are your bombs, and it's your primary attack. What happens, and um, as you can see, is you kind of can lock on up to five targets, and you want to kind of just blow them up. And then you can go back and forth. Now the thing about the tracer gun is there are purple enemies and purple bullets, and they can only be killed by this tracer gun. So you have to keep that in mind, because you don't even start with full life, and you can lose very quickly in this game, because it does get hard very quickly. So we're going through and I'm trying to lock on some targets. When you get a high score, you'll unlock items such as life and your special attack, which is called Euphoria. See, that's our life right there. And the meter filled up half. Anytime an enemy hits you though, you will lose your entire, one entire bar. See right here? That's Euphoria. That's how you collect it, and I'll show you it in a little bit. Ready? Up. That's a Euphoria attack. Pretty cool. And I would definitely save it for a lot of enemies or for a boss. Now getting back to your stance. Because the levels are so long, and you will be doing this to maybe up to 15 minutes, depending on how, you know, how long each level is, you really want to keep your hands kind of close, and you want to keep your stance kind of grounded and low. I mean, that's just highly recommended for most Kinect games, I would, in my opinion. So, boom, trying to get these enemies. What's absolutely stunning about this game is that the visuals and the sound are all tied in together. It's kind of like you're creating your own orchestra with your weapons in your hand and it's beautiful. Now see those bullets? Those are what you have to kill with the tracer gun. Oh, there we go. I got some extra life. I would definitely recommend turning the volume up and playing with the lights off because the entire experience is just unbelievable. So here we are. You can hear it right here. And also one thing I want to note is to always make sure you only have one hand up at a time. If you 
you start doing both hands, it's gonna flail and you're gonna get very upset and you'll probably die. There is a secondary mode if you want to go into your um, settings and you can actually clap to switch weapons. It's a little bit harder, but it's kind of fun. So it's just options, it's things you can play with. Now I'm gonna try to nail this guy. And again, see, you really, really need to go back and forth quickly. And you really want to build up that charge on your weapon. What's also great too is that when the bullets are coming toward you, you see this little purple circle. It kind of lets you know where they are because you can move up and down. And it's really kind of a great kind of tracking tool because so much is going on. It's like just a little extra help on your side. And here's the big baddie once again. Gonna hit there. And sometimes you do just want a rapid fire. And and one more shot should do it. There we go. So as we continue on, there's going to be certain enemies and things that are going to prompt you to use the tracer gun that I'm using now. As we get through this level, the only way to crash through without losing life is by using the tracer, which I'm going to, ah, I just made it. But it gets really quick and you really, especially with these kind of smaller levels when you're like kind of going down these tunnels, you really want to stay centered. I mean, you do get more points for trying to purify as many enemies as possible, but see, you can get hit and get distracted very easily. Life comes rare.
So that's Child of Eden. It's an amazing game. It's one of my favorites, and I would highly recommend getting it.